up guys and welcome to Idaho Fly Life. So today we're doing another product review and today we're doing Corker's Boots. Now this is a product that I really believe in. It's something that I've used for the better part of eight years now. As far as boots go, this is all I wear anymore. And there's a really good reason for it. And I'm sure you guys tuned in for that one little detail that makes these special, but be at the end of the video should be a short video. So first off, these are the Corker's Red Sides. Uh, the Red Sides are awesome boots. I really, really love these boots. I've had these boots for, I used these boots for six years. I think I've had them for seven or eight. It's been a while. Uh, nowadays, my kids use these boots. My wife uses these boots for waiting, but uh, really good construction. Like I said, you can see some wear in them, but for a boot this old, you know, that is not a lot of wear. The uppers look great. Uh, and again, that special part we'll get to later because that's the part of the boot that usually wears. Uh, but the Red Sides, great purchase option and links to these are gonna be in the video description for Amazon links. Again, as a disclaimer, as always, I'll try and get an Amazon Prime link because I know most people have Prime nowadays. But as far as these boots go, these are fantastic. I, I love the Red Sides. I use them for a long time, but I upgraded. And I upgraded to the Dark Horse. And there's two reasons that I really upgraded. The first one, is the high top. So much, much higher, much more ankle support. I find myself these days wading in some really rocky rivers and the ankle support is kind of key. Uh, the more ankle support, the better. You're not falling down near as much when the ankle in the boot is stiff while you're wading. The second feature on these that makes them, in my opinion, a better option than the red sides is the BOA closure system. Now the closure system is cool, right? You just turn it, and I think you can see that it's tightening down the boot, okay? But the coolest part of these, if you're lazy like I am, or perhaps a little bit older, or you have, I don't know, some sort of disability, it's harder to take off your boots, is the one-handed boot opening. So I'll put my hand in here just to give it a little support. All you have to do is turn it to the left, or excuse me, tighten it and pull, and the boot opens up completely. Getting in and out of these is simple, it's a, really a one-hand operation, and that's what makes this BOA closure system so awesome. Uh, the wire is really tough. I have yet to break one of these, but again, another disclaimer, I've heard of people that have broken these. They make repair kits. Throw one in your bag. Just go buy one. They're really inexpensive. Throw one in your bag so this doesn't ruin your day. Um, but for me, it, it's been very durable. I mean, they're, they're metal cords for the closure system. Uh, but what makes the Corker's boots and the Corker's lines of boots so expensive, and you'll see this right now, is the sole system. So one of these things clearly is not like the other. On this side, yeah, the triple threats, these have, they're called triple threat aluminum bars. And they give you a lot more traction in really rocky conditions. And on this side, we have standard felt. What's really cool though is these soles come off, you can change them to a different sole. So say we want to go to all triple threats. All you have to do to change a sole out on one of these boots is pull the back rubber tab, which is about the hardest part on this whole process. Stick your thumb in the gap, pull. That easy. They come right out. They're really durable soles. But then we'll go to the other triple threat, right? To reinsert, there's two gaps in the bottom here that fit into this kind of washboarded surface. You'll slide them in. And of course, I'm gonna have to bring it closer to me to do. Slide it in until you are all the way at the top of the boot. You'll simply click the sole in all the way around. And it's actually easier, I find it easier, and the way that I do it now is just to step on it. If you click the front end in, clip the first two, and then stick the boot on and step on it, works great. And then you'll attach the rubber, it's really like a safety strap to keep these soles on. I have never had one of these soles come off after it's been hooked on correctly. Uh, I did have one come off, and again, just to be completely and totally honest, I left this rubber strap off and I was wading through silt, and it, it, the boot doesn't go anywhere because it's got an ankle support in it, but the sole did get sucked down into that silt, and when I pulled my foot up, it pulled the sole off. It was just a cheap rubber sole, so it wasn't a real big deal, but on the triple threats, because these are substantially more expensive, I make sure that I've got everything locked in correctly. So that would be one of the downsides of these boots, but as far as price range goes, because that's what everybody's concerned with, I'm gonna try and give you a different way to think about this, because these are kind of in 
the mid to high range of the upper end boots, right? So your Sims, your Patagonia boots, those really nice boots that people buy on a regular basis, this is kind of in the mid range of those. So for the red sides, these I believe are $140. And with that $140, you get the boots, you get one set of felt soles and one set of rubber soles. So you're two soles, so you're basically two boots in one. And what's really cool about that is if you're like me and you travel to fish a lot, uh, like Yellowstone National Park, they do not allow felt soles. It's, a, it's banned because of invasive species, and I understand that. I understand the arguments for that, so totally for it. Uh, I can put my rubber soles on these and walk through Yellowstone and have no issues at all. Uh, or if I really want a felt sole, like I do many times on the South Fork, I'll run felt soles, uh, jumping off at riffles and stuff. Um, they are not banned in the state of Idaho. And I have one specific set of soles just for the South Fork, so we mitigate the invasive species problem. Uh, on the other hand, the Dark Horses, they are more expensive. They're right at $200. And I think you get a lot for $200. That boa closure system alone would have sold me. Uh, the, the raised ankle was a good option. The ankle supports were great as well. But that boa closure system, if this is something that you have to have because it is a really cool system, get these boots. Um, I upgraded to these and I call it an upgrade because it really is. Um, these are fantastic. And what I was going to say about the sole system, well, I find on wading boots and previous wading boots that I've had, the first thing that wears out, you'll get soles that look like this, that, that start to wear through. And this one is almost through to the plastic underneath. The soles break down and then you have to throw the boot away. Well, with corkers, if your felt soles wear down and you want a new set of felt soles, it's $20. Instead of $200, if you're buying upper end boots or even in the mid range boots, say it's $100, $75 to $100. 20 bucks, new felt soles. Super easy. You swap them right out, takes you, I don't know, 15 seconds, and you're done. And then you can service your boots some more. So like these, I think I've gone through two sets of soles, two sets of felt soles on these, and then that one set of rubber soles that I lost. Uh, on these ones, I have yet to, to go through a full set of soles because I swapped them out so much, but just all around fantastic boots. And I'm gonna do the disclaimer right now. I, Corkers doesn't know who I am. <laughs> like, they're, they're a huge company. They have no idea who I am. I bought these products myself. I love these products. Nobody's sponsoring this video. I just believe in these products enough to, to sit down and actually tell you about them, right? So if you like either of these sets of boots, and these are the only two that I'm gonna put in the description because I only want to, to tell you to buy things that I have experience with. I don't have experience with the other boots in this range. But the red sides, like I say, 140, Dark Horses, 200, I will put Amazon, and I'll try and get Amazon Prime links in the description down below. So if you would like to pick these up, you can. All right, guys. So done with the review. Uh, just quick stuff at the end. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit, you know, hit the like button, maybe leave a comment. Or if you have any questions about the boots in particular that I can answer, or I might be able to answer, I might be able to look up, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you maybe like a sticker, like to support the channel another way other than going to the Amazon links, if you don't want these boots or you can't afford these boots right now, we have stickers on our website at idahoflylike.com. I think they're like three bucks, pretty inexpensive, really helps us out. Uh, the last thing, so fly fishing is really a community thing. I, I believe that forever. I spend more time at my local fly shop talking to the guys than I really should. And I've gotten to know some people really well through this sport. Uh, so we do have, with that in mind, we have Idaho Fly Life at Facebook. It's, it's just a Facebook group for fly fishing, but a lot of good guys. And the thing about that particular link is it's family friendly. I will actively boot people who are not posting family friendly content so if, if you like that idea more, I know a lot of the Facebook pages are starting to get argumentative or people are getting angry when you post it. Like I see a lot, somebody catching a sturgeon somewhere just on regular fishing sites and people getting angry because you can't lift sturgeon out of water in Idaho turns, to, turns out to be taken somewhere else where you are allowed to harvest sturgeon. Stuff like that happens. It doesn't happen on my page because I, I won't let it happen on my page. Uh, it's really friendly. Post your fishing pictures. People love to see that. People love to see you know, catches. Uh, if you're new, post questions. Questions are super valuable. Uh, we might even keep them archived at the top if they're important questions that get answered, like really important questions that a lot of people are going to find helpful. Uh, if, you're just, if you just like to meet people to go fish with or 
maybe people in a local area you've never been to, especially if you're coming to Idaho. It's an awesome, awesome site to go to. But at the end of the video, guys, really glad if you're listening to this, you stuck with me until the end. I really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching the videos. Have a great day.